Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to today's video which is my May update for Deck of Panning. This was a project pan created by Emily from Emily and Max channel. I will leave her information for you in the description box below the video so please do check it out before you leave. She was inspired by a TBR game called Deck of TBR which was created by Maddie with Books so that information will also be linked for you in the description box. Um, so I have my deck of cards, I have my products and I do this month have a couple of rollouts. So I was hoping to get to the shops to buy some, you know, poppers or something. You know those like you pull them and they go psh, all over the place because let's celebrate. Let's, let's, let's put on our party hats. Let's put up our decorations for celebration because it's done. <laughs> finished it guys I finished it this thing has haunted me in project pans for the last two years this was in um, uh, project pants this is fantasy I think last year and I tried to finish it I did not and now I put it in here to try and finish it and I did look look it went it went thingy up anymore it won't it's it's all the way up um this is my number seven uh stay perfect shade and define eyeshadow stick in gunmetal gray it is absolutely gorgeous i already have a brand new one of these but they now come in white packaging instead of black packaging which i don't like as much i think this is sleek and beautiful why mess with what's not broken um but it's done guys i finished it this was my oldest eyeshadow stick in my collection, so I am so glad that I have finally used it up. It's one of those products that I needed to use it up because it was getting old, but I didn't want it out of my collection because I love this. This is one of those eyeshadow sticks that really doesn't budge. Um, you know those elf ones that says, no budge eyeshadow stick? Yeah, they budge. This, this never budged. It stayed on my eyes until the moment I took it off. Um, it was it was beautiful. That's why I went and bought another one. So it's done, guys. It's done. Um, I ended up using this another six times uh, to get it finished this month. I am so glad it is finally finished. Now I can use the other one with less guilt. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I can't tell you how excited I was when I finally finished this one. Sad to see it go because, as I say, it's been with me for so long. But I have a new one and I can use that one. And I'm so, so excited to start on the new one. Um, so that was the first rollout. And then uh, for my Are You Joking that I got a couple of months back, I pulled in a bunch of my red lipsticks. My goal was only to use these twice each because a red lip for me is a rare occurrence. It, it, it very rarely happens. But I did manage to use uh, two red lipsticks um, for this month. So yeah, I was able to do that. So the first one is my uh, Ruby Woo from MAC showing you the packaging but not the thing everyone knows what this looks like it's a bluey red and it's absolutely stunning I really like this one it is getting a little well it was always dry but it's getting even more drier um and this is another oldest lipstick in my collection this is like my oldest lipstick uh but this one is newer and this is from Beauty Bay and it's in the shade Lover it's much more of a brighter red but still a blue type red rather than a white type red which I think the blue red su suits me a lot better than the white reds um, but I absolutely love this formula this is one that goes on creamy and you think oh that's going to shift around but then it dries matte and that actually sits nicely on my lips um, it does transfer slightly, but it's a red lipstick. What more do you expect? So I did get two uses out of each of these. So they are both continuing on. Um, they're not continuing on. They're rolling out of the project. 
What is continuing on is the last red lipstick from my Are You Joking card that I pulled and it's my liquid lipstick um, in Lady Balls from uh, Too Faced because of course they have to come up with these stupid names, don't they? Um, I do like this one. I have worn it quite a few times, mainly at Christmas time I pull this one out. Um, but I uh, have not worn this. Uh, no, I wore this once this month. I managed to wear it once. I was really rocking the red lip this month. Um, uh, so, yeah. Um, I don't know why, but I don't have weights for this previously, but it now currently weighs 19.80 grams. It's probably not going to change that much with one more use, but that's how much it currently weighs. Uh, so that's that product. So moving on to the other things that we have progress on. My Laura Mercier lipstick in um, A La Rose. Now when I brought this in, I brought it in for 10 uses and I wanted to figure out whether I could use this as a cream blush. Yes, yes I can. And it's a beautiful cream blush. It's that beautiful pinky rose blush that I just love. It's so fresh for springtime so pretty not wearing it today forgot um i have blunted down the top so this used to be on a more of a slant but i've blunted it down a little bit by uh putting it onto my hand to warm it up a bit and then taking it on my finger and tapping it onto my cheek so i have blunted down the tip a bit more i did try this on my lips once not a fan not a fan so I will continue to use it as a cream blush but it will remain in my makeup inventory as a lipstick because I'd rather get a lipstick out than a blush well no that's a lie I'd rather finish a blush than a lipstick but I'm still going to count it as a lipstick um this has had six uses this month um so last month it had one use so that is now seven out of ten uses that it's had and last month this weighed 10.22 grams and now weighs 10.15 grams. So if you're finding that one of your lipsticks is taking far too long for you to finish it up, if you can, use it as a cream blush, uses it up far quicker. Uh, so yeah, that is that item. So that will be staying in. The next item is my Colourpop lippy stick in Little Tings. I use this three times this month. Um, I did not have a previous weight. I must have forgotten to weigh it when it first came in. But I have that much left of this. Um, my goal is to use it 10 times. I've used it three times, so I have seven more uses to go. Um, so yeah, that is that product. The next item... Oh, this is in for 50 uses because it got pulled for the long-term item. Uh, card and that's my L'Oreal blush palette um, in the Ambers collection and it looks like this so I'm currently using this one um, I will uh, what I'm thinking of doing is because obviously it's in for 50 uses so what I'm thinking is use this for 10 this for 10, this for 10, this for 10, and this for 10. So I'm currently using this one because it just, that's the first one I pulled for. Um, so once I reach 10 uses with this, then I'll switch to another one and I'll do it that way. Um, but yeah, it's really pigmented. It is the blush that I am wearing today. I do like it. However, careful with it because um, it deposits a lot of product. And then you have to really buff it out if you don't want to look like uh, Aunt Sally from Wurzel of Gummidge. So yeah, even though it looks very, very subtle, it's not. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really like it. Really pretty. Um, I think maybe I might go into these next, maybe. I think I might use this like in the height of summer. Because um, let's face it, I'm still going to be wearing this in June and July, so... Yes, that might be the best time to use that deep pink and then the orange one as well the, at, at the end. So, yes, uh, I have currently used it five times. So another five uses on that shade. 
then I will switch to another shade. Um, again, I forgot to weigh this when I first pulled it in, but it currently weighs 77.85 grams. And last but not least, we have what is on my eyes today, and that is the Melt um, Eyeshadow Palette from the Bad Side Zodiac Collection in the uh, Fire range. Um, of course, they did Earth, Fire, Water and Air. And <clears throat> this is currently what the palette is looking like. Today on my eyes, I have this in the crease blended out with... Uh, is it this shade? No, this shade. So this in my crease blended out with this. No, I have this in my crease blended out with this and then I have this on my eyes, on my eyelid with a little bit of this in the corner just to darken that up. <clears throat> but I have done two eyeshadow looks with this now out of the five that I put it in for um, and the first time I used uh, the reds along the, I used the top four in the last look I did so um, so yeah I am very happy with this palette I really love this eye look it's really really it's, it's talking like summer for me um, but I can see myself getting away with this look also in autumn so sort of like that summer to autumn transition this palette would be awesome for that time um, so yeah but yeah rocking it today as for weight again i forgot to weigh it when it first came in but it now weighs 135.87 grams so that is that so um we do have one rollout and then these are kind of not counted i don't think um because i still have one product left in for the joker so do i pull one card or two card how many products are we working on one two three four five do you know what i might regret this but i think i'm going to pull two cards today so the cards i'm going to play with today as you know me and my husband do collect playing cards uh so today i'm going to play with pac-man who else remembers playing that game so inside the tin we have our pac-man cards how cool are they and then the backs look like that um so yes what does joker look like <laughs> they're so cool um ah oh, pinks and oranges basically oh and then blues and then reds okay cool the hearts are red of course they are uh so it looks like looks like these have never been shuffled uh hang on wait before i shuffle uh, <laughs> look at the jokers i'm only going to use the one i'm only going to use the one i don't want to burn myself right these are going to need an extremely good shuffle so bear with me i'm going to be a while okay so i have given them a shuffle let's just uh Give them a bit of a cut uh, looking at the game board um uh matches shirt something pink <laughs> wore the wrong shirt today um fragrance uh graveyard veto if i get the veto i'm gonna veto the veto and pull another card i'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say that now because there's nothing I want to pull out. Um, birthstone subscription box. I'm going to struggle with that one. Although I do have nail polishes that came in subscription box. Okay. Okay. One. No, two cards. We're pulling two cards. So I'm actually going to cut the pack because obviously they weren't shuffled. They were still in their uh, suits when I pulled them. So I think it's going to be better that I cut the pack and then hopefully we won't get two consecutive numbers. So first cut is the King of Clubs. 
Now the face can't always stay the same. So a black king is a splurge item, which I think means like an, a, a, a product that I spent a little bit of money on. Uh, so we can definitely do that. Let me give them another shuffle before we cut again. Okay, and I'm going to just do this again. And then we're going to cut again for the second. I put that card back in, didn't I? I put the King of Clubs back in. <sighs> so, if I pull the King of Clubs again, I'm going to cry. So let's pull again. The Queen of, Queen of Hearts. So we've got two face cards today. So a red queen is an easy peasy lemon squeezy kind of product. So an easy product, which is good because like we need those. Right, so let me, let me go, nearly did it again, nearly lost the card again. So let me go and pick my products and I will be back with you in a moment. Hi, so I am back and I have my two products. So I managed to find the King and Clubs. Uh, <laughs> had to go through the cards and find the King and Clubs again. Uh, so this prompt was a splurge item and I was looking at, uh, through my products and obviously eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes are a bit of a splurge for me. Um, but um, I didn't want to bring any more eyeshadow palettes in because I have quite a few. <laughs> The only other things that I've splurged on are some MAC blushes um, and Benefit blushes. Um, but again, I didn't want to bring any more blushes in because I have the um, Ambers palette from L'Oreal to use for 50 times. So I thought, what about this, this product? This product came to mind. It is my MAC strobe cream. Um, I got the uh, pink light version. Uh, so it's this one and this is a bit of a splurge because it's quite an expensive primer considering like <laughs> people's conversation about do primers actually work like are they worth it or can you just go in with a foundation kind of thing a whole question um so I feel like I tried so hard to find a dupe for this a cheaper dupe all over um so i ended up with quite a few glowy primers in my collection um but in the end i just went i, I can't find anything that's as nice as the strobe cream so i splurged and i bought the full size strobe cream so in that sense it does fit the bill uh so i'm not going to bring this in to finish because i don't want to finish it um but i think i will definitely um, because I know that I can use a primer uh, every time I do my makeup, I'm going to bring it in for, uh, let's bring it in for 30. Do I normally do that many? Um, 30, 20, should I do 20? How often am I wearing makeup nowadays? Let's bring it in for, let's go halfway and do 25 uses. I'm gonna bring it in for 25 uses um, and then I can roll it out. So that's for the King of Clubs for a splurge item. And then the Queen of Hearts was uh, for an easy peasy lemon squeezy prompt. She was upside down, uh, bless her. She was looking a little dizzy there. Uh, so an easy peasy lemon squeezy uh, product. And so for that one, I've gone for this itty bitty little W7 lip gloss. Um, this, I don't know what the shade is because it's tiny. Um, but it's a beautiful red lip gloss. I'll give you a swatch of it. Um, it's a beautiful red lip gloss. And I know that um, the other lip gloss that I got in, this came in the W7 advent calendar. 
that I had for Christmas just gone. Um, the other one that I had, I used up within a month. So I know I can get this out really easily. Um, so yeah, that's my easy peasy lemon squeezy product. So I went to finish that off completely, which will be great because that'll bring my lip gloss numbers down by one in time for the mid-year makeup inventory in June if I get my uh, arse and gear and get it used up before I start taking my makeup inventory, which comes next month. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so uh, that is my update for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.